Hi guys. All right, so we did popular food last time and I wanted to show you mine. I had found some of the pictures. So we talked about that Ufi with the large white yam and the Lupulu. I have no idea if I'm saying this right. So I really want to learn Tongan now though. I'm really excited to learn it. Um, I found this where they wrapped it in those taro leaves. I found a picture of some seafood and this is the Otai. It looks really white because usually they mix it with coconut milk. Um, and then I also forgot they do roast pigs. At our wedding, we had my husband's family that brought a lot of the food and they actually had a bunch of roast pigs. And I thought, oh, I need to put that on there. That's a memory I have. So that's what I have. Today we're doing animals found in this area. That's the next one. So this is another one where you can list them and then with your bullet points and then you can add a bunch of pictures, okay? So I did look at some of the research sites and I just, I had a hard time finding them. You might have a better time. I'm feeling so confident in my skills being able to go to Google and look that I just decided that I was going to do that. So I went to Google, I typed in Tonga animals, my country animals, and I came up with all of these great things here. And I actually clicked the first one there and it took me here. And it didn't give me a lot. It just said there are a lot of dogs roaming around Tonga. Most are either friendly or will keep their distance. So it didn't really give me a lot of information. And I wasn't very happy with that. So instead, I wanted to look at another one. And I am thinking list of mammals in Tonga. There's Wikipedia. There's, ooh, Tonga wildlife. That's interesting. Um, Tonga animals photos. I think I might choose this one, the Tonga wildlife one. Now I wait for my internet to load patiently. Okay. So do 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 do. Uh, the sea is full of wildlife. Oh, so I could list some of the sea. Um, let's see. They brought rats, dogs, pigs, and some other animals. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, see, there's all those barracuda, tuna, mackerel. Uh, ooh, mahi mahi's good. Shrimp, krill, crabs, seahorses, manta rays, jellyfish, sharks, starfish, sea stars, urchins, corals. Lots. Um, they've got turtles, lizards, and frogs, uh, reptiles, and insects. Um, I'll see. I'm not really particularly happy with that. I'm going to go back up here to this one and see if it gives me a better list. I wanted something that had pictures too and not just a list of animals, but like some good pictures. Uh, do, 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 well, that's good. Hmm. They don't have a lot of like extinct ones. That's nice. Uh, whales. I don't like this one either. And this is what happens when you start to research is then you have to try and think of all the different things you can look up to find information when it's not going to be found easily. Especially if you have a country that's not as well known or one that maybe doesn't have a lot of natural wildlife. So do 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 it's telling me, oh wow. Huh. It's a group of islands. So Tonga isn't just one island, it's a group of islands. 176 of them. Good. Gugamuga. Only 36 are inhabited by people. Most of them just have plant and animal life. Huh. Temperatures remain in the 80s. Okay. So it's a tropical climate. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da 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 Rainfall in the subtropical climate. There we go. So the animals that they see are not endemic to the island. That means that they didn't just start there. They were brought there uh, because it's an island. Um, there are two birds native to the islands that are found nowhere else in the world. Okay, so this is what I want. I want, let's see, Polynesian megapode. Okay, I got to write. I got to write that one down. I saw it right there. Okay. I just put my little cursor over it. Oh, my dog is excited about it too. I'm like, yeah, there you go. With no predators, they flourish. And the Tongan whistler. So I'm taking notes now and writing it down. 
and then I'm going to look up pictures. Um, and I wrote it down with the correct spellings is in front of me. Oh, so here's some. They've got bats, they've got dolphins, porpoises, whales. And I know that they have pigs because that's something that they enjoy eating. So I know that for a fact. So you can see I'm having a really hard time coming up with some. I may need to look at these images here. There's a oh, the cute little pig image. I'm definitely going to put that one on there because I know those are there. And I'm just going to keep looking for more ooh, animals and plants unique to Tonga. Just some more information. And I also saw one here, interesting facts about Tonga, just fun facts that might have something on there for me. So I've got this one. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, look, see, marine fish unique to Tonga. So they've got a list there. Um, insects restricted to Tonga, reptiles known solely from Tonga. So I'm going to look up this site. And then when I start to find things, I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to go and click that bulleted list here. I'm going to click it and it's automatically going to make those bullet points for me. And I'm going to type in the two birds that I mega food. And I'm going to put bird just because I wouldn't know if I saw that. I'd be like, I don't know if that's a bird or not. Tongan whistler, spell it correctly. That's a bird. So those are the two that I found so far. But this site that I just found, I actually, I really like it. The Living National Treasure site. It seems to have a really good list of animals. And I'm just going to let you know that for countries, it's got a lot of countries you can choose from. So you guys, type in living national treasures and it looks like all you have to do is type in ln treasures.com and then you can pick your country and then it'll have all this information to you so if you're having trouble finding something try the living national treasures or ln treasures.com and see if you can find some animals too so after i get my list i'm going to start searching those in the images and i can just type in the polynesian mega po mega code. There it is. And I can just click the images tab and I can get some images. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do because I want to give you lots of time because this one looks like it's going to take maybe a little bit more research, but have fun. Look for some really cool animals, insects, whatever you're looking for, birds. It sounds like there are lots of different things that you can look at. So have fun, find some cool things and I will see you next time. Or This is day nine, you guys. We only have day 10 and 11 with things that we're finishing and then our slide will be done and then I just have a couple of extra days built in that you guys can work on it. Woohoo! So before I go I'm going to click control C. Remember that's like copying and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to my sources. Oh, move my face up. There we go. And then I'm going to click here at the last one and I'm going to click enter. Takes me to the next line. I love that enter key. It's so easy. Control V and that will paste it. And now I put my uh, new one that I used for looking up animals, the Living National Treasures there. And I saved this tourism site too from one of the other videos that I did. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste that one in there. I got to keep track of my sources. These are some good sources I found. Okay, so I'm going to let you go ahead, get to work. I hope you have some fun looking for your animals. I know I am. I'll show you my slide next time when we're looking on day 10 at our next slide, just so you can see all the ones that I found, all the pictures that I put on there. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Miss you. Have fun. Yay, research.